Normal door opening. The cargo door is mechanically locked and operated by the yellow hydraulic system. The door opening operation procedure is labeled next to the door controls. Let's open the door under normal conditions. To operate the door handle, push the spring-loaded flap inwards. The handle is released. When the handle rotates the locking shaft, it moves the cam of the latches, shows the red indicators retracting, retracts the side pins, and opens the vent door. Pull the door handle outwards and up to the fully unlocked position. Check that the vent door opens to make sure that there is no residual pressure in the cargo hold before the door is unlatched. Check that the locking indicators are red, indicating that the locking hooks are released and the door is unlocked. Due to the internal leakage and the door weight, the door may open towards its vertical position. Open the access panel below the fuselage to gain access to the door hydraulic control system. Check the door open green indicator by pressing it. The light will come on. Set the selector on the control panel to open and hold it in this position. The door is opened by means of two hydraulic actuators pressurized by the yellow electric pump. When the door is in the fully open and locked position, this is indicated by the green indicator which comes on. Then, release the control lever. The yellow pump remains operative during a time delay. In this configuration, all required safeties must be applied. The door opening operating instructions are labeled on the access control panel. Normal door closing. To close the cargo door hydraulically, if the cargo loading option is installed, make sure that the door sill latches are in the raised position and all required safeties are supplied. Set the control selector to close. The yellow hydraulic pump starts running, pressurizes the actuators and unlocks the door. The green indicator light goes off and the door closes. When the door is in its frame, release the control selector. The yellow electric pump remains operative during a time delay. Lock the door before it is able to open again due to internal leakage and the door weight. Pull the door handle down to its locked position. Push it into the recess of the door structure and check that the locking indicators are green and the door is flush with its door frame. Check that the vent door is closed. The spring-loaded flap locks the control handle. Check that access panels are closed. Manual door opening. Here two operators are required. The first one unlocks the cargo door in the same manner as for normal operation. The second operator opens the yellow ground service access panel. Unlock the hand pump control handle quick locking fasteners. Pull out the hand pump control handle and set it in the operating mode. Install the hand pump control handle on its pump. The first operator must hold the selector in the open position. Then the second operator operates the hand pump and the door opens.
When the green indicator light comes on, the first operator releases the control selector. Manual door closing. Two operators are required for this operation. The first will set the control selector to its close position and hold it. The other then operates the hand pump. When the door is engaged in its door frame, return the hand pump control lever to its stowage position. Lock it and close the access control panel. The first operator closes the access panel and sets the door handle to its locked position and checks that the locking indicators are green.